From the mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. I love building microphones. I absolutely love building microphones. Because when you're done, you end up with something like this. Now, this is a microphone that I built that I call the butter stick that you may have seen on this channel. And inside this microphone is a microphone parts circuit, the T84. And I think this circuit sounds really great. But if you're not ready to just go out and buy circuits and stick them into bodies and shove, you know, a capsule on top, what you can do is you can start by buying a kit at microphoneparts.com. Now, you go to this page over here, which is their microphone kits page. You can find it on their website. And it gives you this handy chart, which gives you comparisons of what their different kits sound like. Now, they're not clones of these circuits, but they are inspired by these tonalities. So these circuits that they mention here, like for if you want to go, go after an 87 sound, if you want to go after a 47 sound, right? So what I like about this is if you go to microphoneparts.com, right, you have all these great kits and they come with everything you need, right? Body, right? Frame, PCB right here, and all the parts, all the parts. And the instruction booklets are amazing. They are so well done. A lot of pictures, a lot of very easy to follow instructions and diagrams. And if you can follow instructions and if you're patient enough, and that's the key, it's like really being patient enough to, to follow uh, everything step by step. And that way, there's a very good chance that the first time you plug in the mic, if you follow the instructions very carefully, you can plug in the mic and it's going to work right away. You know, so you want to you want to be patient so you don't have to troubleshoot afterwards and fix your mistakes because you were rushing. Now, this right here, the T12, right? See this circuit? This circuit right here, the T84 circuit is what's in the butter stick. What's in the microphone I'm talking into right now? Um, and this is a great kit. Look at this. So for 419, right, you get, and if you want to upgrade the body, you can do that, but you get this black, you know, pretty boring body and you get this great circuit. And in a few hours, you can put this thing together, right? But again, patiently put it together and have a great microphone. And that's what I love about mic parts. But overall, like the last two kits I showed you, they're a little bit more, um, well, they're more intermediate. So if you've never done this before, right, I would suggest start with this, the S25. Now, this is an electric microphone, right? It's not, this isn't a full condenser capsule. So if you see this capsule right here, right, this is a trans sound, I forget what it is, something, something 25. This is not a bad sounding capsule. This is the capsule that is in the second generation CAD uh, 100, right? Um, and this circuit here, right, is pretty, it's, it's very, it's, it's very packed with parts, but it's not that hard to assemble if you know how to solder and follow instructions. And you can build a pretty cool microphone that really sounds pretty decent that you could use on work, right? And that's the cool part of it. So listen to the, uh, listen to all the little demos here, right? Look, Greg Wells. Wow, that's pretty cool. And, um, but you can build a microphone, you know, so start with something like this, right? Or you have something like this that has a transformer in it. It's kind of the same thing, but, you know, a little bit more of a uh, Cam 84 circuit style. And you've got the transformer in it. But once you, kinda, once you kind of build a couple of these small ones, and th that's the thing, you're going to have to build a couple of them to, to start to feel comfortable. You build the first one, you're going to be excited. You're going to want to build another one. Trust me. So start with these. If you've never done it before, start with these right? And then work your way up. The next one I would do is I would do one of these S47, S87. Um, one of the, not that one, sorry. Um, I would do something like this. This is also, I mean, again, transformerless circuit, um, very, very well balanced circuit. And what I like about this circuit is this, um, th this 57, uh, was MP57 circuit. They, uh, they create it so that it's a flat circuit, but you can tune it so that you can use different capsules with it. So once you learn how to build this circuit, you could actually build an 87 style microphone, right? And you can go from that and you can go and you can build a 47 style microphone or a C12 style microphone. And they're basically, they're all the same circuit. It's just that there's a, there's a capacitor that changes that you install in a certain spot here.
uh, that changes the high-end frequency response so that you tune it for the correct capsule. So you could actually learn how to build one circuit here, right? This one circuit and end up with a couple of different microphones depending upon how you want to uh, configure it with a capsule. And, you know, so it's, you can start to put together a little mic locker with a little bit of experience building microphones. And they do have SDCs, right? So you can build yourself a little, little small diameter uh, microphone, condenser microphone here, like an 84 style. As you can see, the PCB is, is much smaller here. Uh, so you have to have you have to have pretty decent eyesight and, uh, you know, your fingers can't tremble too much. Um, and then, you know, if you want to, like, work your way down and start to build more complex circuits. And the, the truth is that some of these, right, like if you look at this, this, this one is really intriguing to me. I haven't built this one yet. But this one is uh, their, eight, their 67 style. And look at that. There's not a whole lot of parts on the board and you have a transformer on the back. So really not that hard to build. But, you know, when you're when you're spending four hundred thirty nine dollars plus shipping and tax, you want to make sure you know what you're doing, because trust me, it's easy to destroy a microphone uh, by being um, careless and sloppy. Uh, trust me on that. Um, overall, I really like the mic part stuff. Uh, I, um, you know, I think the capsules are pretty good uh, mid quality capsules. And they do a lot of uh, they do a lot of quality control to make sure that the capsules that you buy um, are are you know up to spec. And um, here, I actually want to show you one more thing. So the uh, which kit is it? So one of these kits, right? Let me find it. I can't find it. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. Oh no, hold on. I am. Uh, let's go home here. All right. And uh, products, capsules, circuit mod kits. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like I said, in this microphone, this is a T84, $200 T84 kit. And overall, it's a pretty simple build. And I installed it in a, um, in a uh, U47 style body that I got off of AliExpress. And it has a 3U audio um, M7 capsule in it. So this isn't something that microphone parts uh, puts together on their own, but you can you can start to do stuff like this on your own once you kind of get comfortable with it. So this is a great circuit. It's clean. It's it's based on the Neumann uh, KM84, but adapted for a large condenser microphone uh, instead of a small condenser. And there's there's like you know basically extra polarization that has to happen in the circuit to power a large capsule. But this is also pretty cool. The T8455, which is really a variant of this T84 circuit. And what I like about it overall is that, oh, can I bring, hold on. So what I like about it is, again, it's a pretty simple build. And this particular circuit has a little bit more harmonic content on it. So if you want something that's a little less clean and has a little bit more saturation, just a little bit more, not much, just a couple dB more, uh, really kind of second harmonic stuff going on. Um, Overall, this is really a great circuit to buy too and build. So you can, once you kind of get comfortable with it and you can really take advantage of the fact that really all, everything is sent to you that you need, the entire kit of parts, right? So whether you buy a, a, an entire microphone kit that has the body and the capsule with it, or whether you buy a, you know, a kit that is just the circuit and you use your own donor body and you source a capsule somewhere else, you know, a higher end capsule if you want or whatever capsule you prefer. This is a place, this is the place to do it. And, you know, I know that there are some people who complain. It's like, oh, well, you know, if I buy all these parts myself and sourced all these parts myself, it would cost a lot less than $369. But would it? Because getting a donor body, right? Getting a donor body these days, especially a decent looking one, I mean, that's a pretty decent looking one. It's pretty plain, but you know what? I like it. And it's not, it's not a cheapy frame. It's a pretty decent body. Um, getting a donor body is still going to cost you maybe at least $100 or more. You know, it used to be you could find cheap donor bodies all the time, like 20 bucks on eBay, but those days are over. You know, you buy all the parts on your own, right? You're going to have to order from Mauser. And sometimes, you know what sucks is like, I've built microphones before and I've had to order parts from like two or three different places. 
I've had to order from like Mauser and DigiKey, and then you go to like Small Dog or something like that, and to, to get you know a couple of parts that really you can't find other places. And then you also have to bias that FET, like I said, and that's an extra step that you know could really make or break the way that microphone sounds. If that if that FET is imbalanced, isn't biased, your microphone's going to be noisy. You're going to you're going to have a a basically a higher noise floor and a lower signal to noise ratio. It's not, it's not going to be the experience you want. Having a pre-biased FED is huge. Now, when you think about it, what is your time worth, right? To ha- not have to tinker with that or learn how to do that. You have to first learn how to do that. And then you have to do it. You have to have the right material, right, uh, right stuff to do it, the right uh, resources, right? So not having that, what's that worth to you? And then having all the parts in one place and having PCB, and then you get this instruction manual that has all these pictures in it. It makes your life easy. So, you know, I, I think that people who complain that this is more than this microphone is worth are out of their minds. Because the, the convenience factor, the fact that it's all the kid has put together for you right here. And all you have to do is patiently follow the instructions, assemble it, solder it, try not to burn the house down, try not to burn yourself. And you end up with something that you can use. How great is that? And that's what I like about Mike Parts. And Matt, who is the owner and creator of Mike Parts, is a pretty cool guy. I like Matt. Um, <laughs> I think he thinks I'm annoying. We, I, I'm, I met him face to face after trading emails with him at, at NAM in 2019. And, and he was like, uh, he, re- he recognized who I was uh, from, our, <laughs> from our conversations. <laughs> he just seemed annoyed with me. Which is fine. Which is not. Uh, which is not atypical. So, um, but uh, he's such a great guy. I like I like Matt a lot. I just wish he would smile more. So, um, and he has a lot to smile about because Mike Parts is awesome. So again, if you are inclined, if you are inclined at all to get into microphone DIY and you do not know where to start, go to Mike Parts. Okay, and Matt will answer questions. Don't bombard him with questions. Don't ask stupid questions like, how do I learn how to solder? <laughs> you know, he's a good guy and he'll, he'll help you out if you have a little bit of trouble. But, you know, you got to be smart about it. You got you to gotta enter into this understanding your skills and limitations. And if that all matches up into uh, an equation that allows you to think that you can build a microphone and really enjoy doing it, then do it do it. Microphone DIY is so cool. And it's addictive because once you start here, you will, you will begin doing things like this, like this, like this butter stick, these hybrids. And, you know, now I'm like creating my own circuits and building my own prototypes from scratch and stuff. And it all started, it all started with mikeparts.com. So, um, it's actually microphone-parts.com, but, uh, go check it out. All right. And uh, let me know what you think. What have you built? Have you built any mic part stuff? And what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. All right, nation, you know what to do. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto and Emkoff, Fading to Black.